Alright guys, I gotta come clean. Almost two years ago I made a video that you may or may not have seen showing how the Rebel 1100 in stock form is limited at only 100 miles per hour, and in that video it was pretty clear you could see what is now known as the infamous Rebel 1100 high-speed wobble. Then about two, three months after that, I came out with another video saying I figured out why my Rebel 1100 was acting like that. I have the solution to the high-speed wobble woes. And the solution is gonna be a lot dumber than you guys probably were expecting. But the truth is, I lied in that video. Not intentionally, but that was not the solution to the problem, and it continued happening up until recently when I found the true reason why these things get the high-speed wobble and got it solved. So today we're gonna talk about what the actual cause of the high-speed speed wobble is and how you can fix it and of course we're going to test it out so you can see that it's actually fixed. Welcome back to Life of Birch. This is Birch. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and let's jump straight into it. It has been over a month since I've been on this bad boy because it is the cold of winter but we have a glorious 50 something degree day so we're back out on it. We got to listen to this exhaust man. <laughs> Oh my god, I have missed that. Also, before I forget to mention it, we do have the GPS race timer right here, so that when we do the test run, you can see the actual speed, because if you're not caught up with the channel, I have found a way to get rid of the 100 mile per hour speed limiter on this bike, so it'll go as fast as we want it to, but this will never read over 93 miles per hour. So once we hit 93, we'll have to rely on the speed right there to see what speed we're actually going. So first things first, let's talk about what the infamous Rebel 1100 high speed wobble is. I kind of touched on it a little bit already, but essentially, Essentially, with these bikes, it almost feels like there's so much torque and so much power mixed with the bike being kind of like more heavy towards the back end and then having the skinny big front wheel. It feels like anytime you're going over, I don't know, like 80, 85 ish, if you absolutely mash the throttle, the front end gets so light that the front wheel starts shaking back and forth. And that is really exaggerated anytime you go over road imperfections or like a crown in the road or anything like that. And that has been pretty apparent in a few of my videos now. So, in that first video that I made, it was really just talking about how the Rebel 1100's top speed was only 100 miles per hour, and that's the first time that you saw it shaking back and forth like crazy. That shift was terrible. And somebody commented on that video and said, hey man, I think it's because your um, phone mount is on one side of your bars, and I bet it's catching wind just enough to start shaking everything back and forth. And I thought, you know what? That's just crazy enough to be true, I bet. So I went ahead and I tested it. I took the phone mount completely off, and I redid it, and to my surprise, the high-speed wobble was gone, and I was friggin' pumped, and I ran immediately to the internet and made a video saying, oh my gosh, my high-speed wobble woes are cured, it was all my phone mount, make sure you don't put a phone mount on the side of your bars and you'll be good. But if I'm being honest, that, I think, helped the high-speed wobble problem, but it didn't entirely get rid of it. I made that video as soon as I found out that it had worked, without actually, like, riding it for another couple weeks or whatever to make sure that it was actually good to go. So while it did make the problem a bit less, the problem was still there. And it kind of sucks because that video is still up on YouTube. I mean, I've taken it down at this point, but for a while it was still up on YouTube and I would keep seeing people commenting, oh, your high speed wobble is because of your phone mount. It's because of your phone mount, blah, 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 blah. Because that video got, uh, I don't know, like over 50,000 views or something like that. So I would always see people when they talked about the high speed wobble, other people would comment saying it was the phone case or the phone mount and I'm like ah that's just not true like I thought it was true at the time but it's not and as I went I tried different things you know I dialed in the suspension a bit better because that's a big part of it if your rear suspension is too soft then when you get on that throttle it's going to squat more and uh, take more weight off the front and make that a bit worse if your front suspension is too soft then it's going to dive every time you know if you shift too hard the front's going to dive and then come back up so suspension I dialed that in and that helped a little bit also but to be honest it was just still there. It got a little bit better with each thing that I did, but no matter what I did, the issue was still ever present. So I did some research, and one of the people that I uh, talked to and was watching their stuff was Gus from On the Rebel 11, and he had had the same issue with his, where it would have the high speed wobbles, but only under certain circumstances, and he got a bit more scientific with his than I did, and he would try and recreate it on the same road surface and everything, and he kind of did the same deal, you know? Try to bunch of different stuff and everything made it a little bit better but it would always still be there until he did one thing and he said that that was the cure-all and I tried it also and uh, for all intents and purposes so far it's been a few months and it has been the actual cure so let's go ahead and do
do a quick little high speed run so I can show you that it is indeed gone. And then we'll talk about what I did to fix it. Oh my goodness, shout out to that stranger that I keep finding to do those high speed runs for me. I still don't know his name, but I really appreciate him doing this so that I don't have to because I obviously don't break the law. As you can see, this thing just got effortlessly up to 111 miles per hour, which is 11 miles per hour past the top speed that it's supposed to have, and it was stable as hell the entire way. All right, so leave your comments below and let me know before I say it, what do you think was the solution to the high speed wobble? I'm sure that a lot of you guys are gonna say the fairing because that's the only obvious difference you can see right now but it was not the fairing the thing that did it was new tires new tires have solved the issue for me they've solved the issue for Gus from on the rebel 11 they've solved the issue for countless people on the Facebook forum now what the issue is with the tires I'm still not entirely sure <laughs> see what I did there entirely <laughs> But it definitely has something to do with the stock Dunlop, whatever the hell they are. It could be anything from they're just hard to balance. It could be maybe from the factory they're not balanced properly and nobody checks them. It could be that they have a soft sidewall. It could just be that they suck. Who freaking knows? All I know is that that is the only thing that for certain fixed everybody's issues that I've heard of is swapping out the tires and in specific swapping to the Metzler Cruise Tex. That's what I'm running. That's what Gus is running. That's what tons of people are running that have fixed the high speed wobbles. I think lots of it is the fact that the sidewall seems to be a bit stiffer. I don't know. All I know is these tires are better in every way, shape, and form, and the main part is that they officially got rid of my high speed wobbles. I've tested it even with the fairing off and doing a high speed run, thinking oh, maybe it's a mixture of the tires and the fairing. The fairing's helping keep the front end planted better or whatever, but even with the fairing off this thing still stays stable all the way up to, you know, like you saw, 111. Now, these tires were not cheap by any means. I think between between the tires mounting and balancing I spent about six or seven hundred bucks so not cheap at all but the way that it totally transformed the way this bike handles how stable it is on the highway it was totally worth it and honestly you can't put a price on safety so if you plan on mobbing this thing or ever going at high speeds I would honestly say get rid of those crappy stock tires throw on some cruise techs and you should be good to go so please forgive me I'm sorry for steering you guys wrong I honestly at the time thought that it was the phone mount that video I've already deleted by the time this one comes out so the only one that will live on is the video saying that it is definitively the tires. And to save myself the trouble of answering all the comments from all the people that claim that their bike does not have the high speed wobble, that is totally fine. I am happy for you, but the truth is most Rebel 1100s do have it at high speeds. It's a problem that cruisers have, Rebel 1100s have. If yours doesn't have it, consider yourself lucky. Maybe you got a good pair of tires from the factory. Maybe they balanced them properly. Maybe you don't ride as hard. Maybe you weigh a bit more. Maybe your suspension is tuned better, but at the end of the day, you are in the minority, not the majority if your Rebel 1100 does not have the high speed wobble. So for the majority of you that will encounter it, make sure to throw on some Metzler Cruise Tex. I'm out of here. Shout out to the Patreon members for making all this possible. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Love you. Peace. Oh, so basic. Hope you play this. Damn, I prayed it. Nice song, yeah. I be Candace, all souls fake it, pay those ay, placements, ay, fuck shit ay. And I'm still waiting on the brighter day It's been a minute, been rough many times more And I'm kicking rocks to a sky of gray Praying hard talk to me before I'm done for